and welcome to today's webinar, how to set up an effective peer support scheme in your setting. My name is Ellie and I am the Projects Coordinator at the Dan Award. Today I'll be teaching you all about the top tips that you need to establish a peer support scheme and I will also be recruiting the help of some of our amazing peer supporters who are experts in the area. The Dan Award has over five years experience of working with young people in schools to effectively tackle bullying and to ensure that school is a safe and happy environment for all students. Our role within the Enable project has been to create a set of easy and engaging activities for students, parents and staff which give them the skills, knowledge and confidence to effectively tackle bullying in their schools. In today's webinar we're going to be looking at what a peer support scheme is, what the role of a peer supporter is, how you go about setting up a scheme like this in your school and what benefits it can have to your school. A peer support scheme involves students in their school voluntarily giving up their time to do activities and campaigns around something they feel passionate about. Peer supporters are not counsellors in the school but they're a friendly face to students who are perhaps vulnerable or don't feel safe or affected by bullying. They provide support to them through keeping an eye on them at school and being there to talk to them if they need somebody and also reporting bullying to staff in the school. Now peer supporters not only work with students but they recognise the importance of working with the whole school community, so parents and staff and they run sessions with them and activities with them which educates parents and staff how they can keep their children safe both online and offline. A lot of research has also shown that often students don't feel comfortable with reporting bullying to a teacher or an adult. This is because sometimes they feel that perhaps the issue may be taken out of their hands and, and may not necessarily take the steps that they want to happen. Therefore, having peer supporters in school can really help young people have somebody to go to who understand their problems and they feel comfortable talking to. Young people are also influenced by their peers' behaviour Therefore, peer supporters can really be used as a positive force in schools to change behaviour and ensure that those who are bystanders to bullying become upstanders to bullying and really know how they can report bullying and support those who may be suffering from it. I think peer supporters definitely have a great effect in the school and community. You definitely feel that students are more open about how they feel, whether that's through bullying or other such events that they may feel to hide within them but peer supporters can definitely be more approachable than speaking to an adult or teacher. When you're setting up a peer support scheme in your school for the first time, one of the most important things you do before you set up the scheme is to tell the school and communicate to the school that positive change is on the way, be it through an assembly or through senior leadership team presenting this idea. It's really important that students know the role they're going to play in this positive change and how the whole school community is going to be involved. When selecting students to be peer supporters, it's really important that they're representative of the whole school population, as they're really going to be a student voice in your school. They need to be representative of peer groups, of age groups, of different backgrounds. One of the key things to a successful peer support scheme is that students understand what the issues are within their school. This may be through doing a survey or running focus groups with students, staff and parents. And this is really important so that they can really target any campaigns and activities they do to really tackle those issues and make sure that the school is a safe and happy environment for everybody involved. Once the students have been selected to be peer supporters, it's really important that the whole school community knows who these students are and what their role is. You therefore may want to to encourage them to lead on an assembly to introduce themselves or to have a display board up in the school that says who they are and where they can be found if a student has a problem and wants to come and talk to them. It's really important that the student peer supporters keep up the momentum by meeting regularly. So this could be weekly or bi-weekly, ideally with a staff member facilitating the sessions. We've written a range of resources and step-by-step -step guides to help you set up a peer supporter scheme in your setting. The peer supporters need to make sure that their work is really fun, fresh and exciting in order for the whole school to want to get involved in their campaigns and their activities. You firstly have your peer support student training plan and this gives you everything you need to train your students up to be peer supporters. 
you have an outline of a full day's training activities and a PowerPoint to accompany this. Within the one day's training plan, the students will look at what is bullying, what is the definition of bullying, what impact does it have on young people, and what can they do within their school to really eradicate this and put measures in place to prevent it happening in the first place. We've then written a set of 10 peer supporters sessions and the idea with these is really to provide a guide for you and your students once they've been trained to keep the work going. These sessions really build on the skills that they've gained in their initials one day's training to ensure that if they are faced with an issue or need to support a student they really feel confident in being able to do so. Now as I've mentioned before it is so important that this campaign and peer supporter scheme remains peer-led. We've therefore created some resources specifically just for students. There's a peer supporter campaign material which provides tons and tons of ideas um, and of activities and campaigns that the peer supporters can run in their school. These activities are around topics such as cyberbullying, online safety, how you can encourage students to be upstanders to bullying, and how you can tackle issues such as racism and homophobia within your school. Enable recognises the vital role parents have to play within tackling bullying. We've therefore created a parent pack which is a really easy to follow guide for parents and talks them through some of the signs of bullying, how they can support their child and how to keep them safe both online and offline. The set of certificates we've produced really helps recognise and celebrate the fantastic work that your students are going to be doing. There are level 1 and level 2 certificates to be presented to students once they've completed both stages of the training. We've also created an Enable School Certificate so you can show your whole school community that your school does not tolerate bullying. I hope you found today's video useful. Myself and the Enable team are so excited to hear how you get on setting up a peer support scheme in your setting. If you would like more information about the Enable project or would like to access the resources, please see the link below. And please keep us updated with your work using the hashtag on Twitter, EnableEU. Good, good luck with it all and please keep in touch.